time, weather, and... Hello and welcome to Driving with Todd. And I'm Todd. What the heck? Let's do another song about schools. Now school's out for summer, and I'm looking at songs about school. So when I was looking for a song to do, I came across the song by the Stranglers. The song is called School Ma'am. I've never heard this song before. The, uh, the song came off of the album No More Heroes, which is the second album released by the Stranglers in September of 1977. That album hit number two on the UK album chart. It was a big hit for the Stranglers. The song itself, School Ma'am, was not released as a single, but was the last track on the album. The other thing about this song is it was actually recorded for their first album. It was recorded in the, se in the sessions for their first album, but was held back and not released on that album. They saved it and put it onto their second album, No More Heroes. The song is also written by Hugh Cornwell, who is the lead vocalist and guitarist for the group. Beyond that, I know nothing about this song. So here we go, listening to School Ma'am from the album No More Heroes. here a moment um love the beginning that bass guitar by jj burnell in the beginning was great almost sound like a fuzzed out bass as well and then hugh cornwell comes in with some great guitar notes and then they play for a little bit of time and then hugh comes in again and starts singing the song very typical very typical sounding of the stranglers from this period um they have that kind of deep dark sound to them and almost kind of an angry sound um, especially with the way Hugh sings the song he's got kind of that anger in his voice so I'm I'm not hearing all the lyrics to the song as I as I said this is the first time I've ever heard it and it's very difficult to listen and 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 you know determine the lyrics as I'm playing it I'd have to like stop it after every every line to hear each line but it sounds like he's not real happy with this teacher that that was from school, the school ma'am. So let's keep on going, see where the song goes.
going to stop it here. That guitar in there, I love that guitar that he was playing. It, it's got the, it's just kind of like added in. It was like, okay, we could just do this with the rhythm track going, but he adds this kind of uh, picking type guitar sound in there, which is really cool. And then you can hear uh, Dave Greenfield on the keyboards. I mean, he's just beep, 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 beep. He's almost like just hitting the one key to, to keep the, 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 the thing flowing, keeping the, the keyboards into the song. Just kind of cool, but I, I, it's it, that bass guitar in there is what's really driving this song. I just love the bass guitar. That's really cool. So let's keep on going. I, I took it back a little bit. Uh, listen for that guitar when he's singing. When he was singing, he's got that kind of picking guitar in there. It sounds so cool. Being a showman, noise is what the principal investigates. Right there. Right there. So I'm not sure what a school ma'am is. I'm, I'm trying to pick it out with the lyrics. It's not the teacher, but it seems to be somebody like almost like a, maybe a, uh, somebody who helps the teacher or maybe one of the, the students, uh, particularly maybe a female student um, doing like special projects, let's say, for the teacher. Uh, that's kind of the way it sounds. But I'm not positive. I, 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 I'm trying to, like I said, listen to it. But they're talking about the teacher and they're talking about the school ma'am. And the two are not the same person. So I'm just wondering what they mean by school ma'am. Uh, maybe somebody can leave that in the comments. But I really like what I'm hearing. This is definitely Stranglers. There is no group out there. There is absolutely no group in, in all of rock and roll time that sounds like the Stranglers. They are very unique sounding. Let's keep on going. Oh, 
Okay, and the song ends like it begins with like the schoolyard sounds of children. Kind of cool song, very different. Um, <laughs> the Stranglers always amaze me because they can just be very weird, but really still very good. And this is one of those very weird songs, but it was so good, that bass guitar in there, especially when they went between verses and then they did the little instrumental break that, I don't know what it was, you know, like maybe two seconds where they had the bass and the guitar and the drum and keyboard, and then they went into the next verse. Really kind of cool. Instrumental break was a little strange as well. Um, you could almost say this is a little bit of, uh, you know, definitely they're they're not, not really punk, but they're, they're, avant-garde i think they're more of an avant-garde band uh with a little bit of hard rock and a little bit of psychedelic i mean there's a little bit of psychedelic sound in in this particular song especially the end i'm not quite sure what he was getting at at the end but he's doing math right he's doing 16 plus 16 is 32 32 plus 32 is 64 64 plus 64 is 128 divide that by three and then he's counting off a 41 42 43 i'm not quite sure what he was doing but like i said the song overall is kind of a strange song especially the way it's put together instrumentally but it's also really cool and you know Hugh Cornwall, when he does a song, or Cornwell, when when he sings a song, he's not really singing. He's pretty much talking through the song. And, and he does that quite often on the songs that he's written, where he's not really singing, but he's talking through the song. And it's just so different than any other band. But this was kind of cool. Like I said, I saw it. School Ma'am, never heard the song before. Love the Stranglers. Let's see how it goes. And it 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 surprised me. I mean, it it didn't surprise me, but it did because it was just kind of an odd song. The other thing about it is this was actually taken off a of vinyl. Um, you know, we're watching the record play here, and it was actually taken off the vinyl because you can hear the clicks and pops as the song is being played, especially in the beginning and at the end, uh, where you have some real quiet parts of of the song so that's kind of cool too i uh because it had a really nice bottom end there was a, some nice so sound coming off of that vinyl needle or the, the 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 cartridge needle from the vinyl um very well very well done uh no more heroes like i said i've never heard the album uh, maybe it's something i got to go back and take a look at but that was a very strange track and i'm not quite sure what a school ma'am is, but it's definitely not a teacher. And that that's kind of what I thought it was at first. It was kind of a, a strict teacher, but um, I'm thinking it's something else. Like I said, maybe somebody out there in comment land can let me know what a school ma'am is. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the Stranglers doing the song School Ma'am, you know, sticking to the theme of schools this week. If you did, hit that like button. If you have any comments about the Stranglers doing the song School Ma'am from their albums, No More Heroes, put in the comments below. That'd be really appreciated. Now, I'm going to take a link to this video, which I was trying to find a video that actually had, you know, some motion on it. And there really wasn't anything for the studio version. Most of it was just the cover of the album, uh, No More Heroes. So I saw this one and I thought, well, let, let, let's do this one, not realizing that, you know, it's going to be the turntable all the way through and that it was recorded off the vinyl. But it was good. I enjoyed it. So I'm going to take a link to this video, put it in my description below. So if you want to want to watch it again, click on that link. It'll open up, play for you, and I won't be stopping it. I'm also going to take a link to the channel that uploaded this video and put it in my description below. You might want to click on that link and see what else that channel has to offer. Maybe they have some more stranglers. I don't know. I didn't look. Now, have you subscribed to Driving With Todd? If you haven't, why don't you do it right now? you got my video open. Just go below the video and hit that subscribe button. You'll be making me very happy. If you go over here and ring the bell, you'll get updates to my latest videos. Again, trying to keep the theme of school this week, and I thought, what is, what's out there that, that has a school theme? And when I saw the Stranglers, it was like, yeah, got to do the Stranglers. Haven't done them in quite a while. I wasn't disappointed. It was a very weird song. So it put a big smile on my face. I'm hoping put a big smile on your face and peace out, baby.